Hello everyone, I am Randerisa and today I'm going to give a quick look of Gosu 1.0.3. Now, once you install this plugin, where you can find it is you go to the plugins menu, select Renderisa and then go to Gosu, or you can simply click the button provided on the toolbar called Gosu. This will bring a dialog with a set of tools. For me, I will explain it from the bottom up. So we will start with Gosu files. Now Gosu files is basically the default folder that you want to use when you are using this plugin. If I run the plugin and I click anywhere in the viewport, it will bring me that folder. And this is where you want to place anything related to what you are working on, so you can have it on one place and be more organized. The next set of tools is set folder which uh, if you don't want to have share the same folder for every component what you can do is set a individual folder for each individual component and how this works is if, if you have more than one component let's say four components and you want to have a folder for each one of them you active that set folder and when you click on the component that you want to set the folder it will bring you a window now, because how SketchUp API is working at the moment, it doesn't allow you to select the folder right away. But to select the folder, what you need to do is go inside that folder and select any file inside that folder, and then click Open. And it will not select the, uh, the file inside that folder, but instead the folder itself, if that uh, makes any sense. To set the second folder for the second component, you go to that folder, click any file, the third one, go to folder number three, select a file, the fourth one, do the same for that one as well. Now when you switch to Gosu and click the, on that component again, it will bring up that folder that you provided it will be. And then you can open it files and you know this is good if you want to have uh, reference images according to the company that you are working on so that you don't mix them up. If I click folder number three, that will bring it up. Now, let's say you want to set files this time. What you want to do is then you select the set file option and when you click on a component, it will bring a window so that Let's say I want to select this movie for this first component. I click the movie. For the second one, I want to select this image. For the third, I want to select a text document. Now, when I switch back to Gosu, what it will do is if I click the first component, it will show you that movie. And uh, if I click the second one, it will show you that image and so on. Now uh, the next tool is called set sound and what this will do it will set a sound for a component but it won't open it on an external application it will just play it through the SketchUp itself. Let me show you what this looks like. If I choose set sound and I click on a component I will go to this folder that's called audio and I will set this wave file to that component. Okay. For the next component I will choose this sound. For the next one I will choose this one. And for the last one I will choose this one. Now once I do that I go to Gosu and I click on the first component and you will hear that sound. Okay. Um, that wasn't what I <laughs> was thinking of. Let me see. Set sound. This third one. Open it. Uh, something else. Let me, let me make sure that I set that up the right way. Let me test that again. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm just clicking. But now you can see that when you click on each component can have your own instrument or you can have for example uh, 
a component that you're exhibiting and you want to talk about this component, you can record your voice explaining what you want to say. And then when the user click that component, it will just narrate what you're trying to explain. Okay, so the next tool, and before I go to the next tool, uh, this is limited in the sense that it doesn't play multiple sounds at the same time. So if I have a longer audio file for this component and I click the next one, it will cancel this, the, the first one I click so to play the next one. And probably I will think of doing another plugin that will allow you to have multiple sounds at the same time, but that will be in the future, so keep an eye for that. Okay, the next tool is called Set Layer. Now, the cool thing about this is if I want to add a layer to each particular component, I just select that tool, Set Layer, then click on the component, and it will ask me what I want to name that layer. So let's say I want to name it A, and you will see on this window, the layer window, that uh, a layer is added called A, and if I disactivate that layer, you will see that that component was assigned to that layer that I set it up. Let's do the same for the next component, we'll name it B, the next one we'll name it C, and the next one we'll name it C. Let's be like that. Okay, now if I go to Gozu, you will notice that the main layer used is the layer 0, and that's identified by having this dot on the on the circle over here. But if I click with the Gozu tool selected on the component that has the layer A, you will notice that that layer A is now the main layer. The same is said if I click the layer B, layer C, and layer Z. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, Z, okay. Now, if I want to isolate, uh, let's say, layer B and hide everything else, what I can do is double click that component that is with the layer B. And you will see that everything else is disappeared. If I want to bring them back, I just double click on that component again and you will see that everything is back like it was. And this is very good if you have a complex model and you're just working on a simple component, you don't want the clutter of everything else, you just double click on that component, uh, click pause over here, and use the traditional modeling tools that you use, and then once you finish, you click run, and double click on that component again, it will bring it like it was. I hope that was clear. And, uh, okay, the next tool is called set scene, and what this does is it will allow you to set a scene for each component. Let's say we want this view, and for this component we'll name it 1. And you will notice that over here a scene was uh, created. For the next component, let's say we want to create this view. We click that component and name it number 2. For the third one, we want this view. We name it number 3. And for the last one, we want it to look over here. And this only it, this not only uh, sets a camera position, but also sets uh, hidden components, uh, remembers also styles and whatnot. Okay, so now when I switch to Gozu and I click the first component, you will notice that the, the camera position is, is set to that particular scene. When I click component number two, the scene number two is activated and so on, component number three, and finally component number four. And this is interesting in the way that you can create like a menu system that is interactive and 3D and you can have a nice little uh, user interface right inside SketchUp. Now for the last tool is called Set URL and this is cool in the sense that you can assign websites to each individual component. Now let me explain, if I click on that set URL and click on any component, I can set a new URL, let's uh, for example put sketchucation.com, this next component will have uh, google.com, this next one will have uh, youtube.com, okay? 
Now if I switch to Gozu and click on the first component, it will bring me to Sketchication. Right. Uh, since I'm recording, it will take a little bit, but uh, trust me, it will go to that website. Uh, the next one will go to Google. There you go. The third one to YouTube. Okay. Now, a good thing about this is that if you hover over the component, you will see that uh, uh, on the on, over here on the bottom left, you will see the name of the website. Also, sometimes if you hover over uh, a component, it will also uh, provide a tooltip that will tell you uh, with a, a yellow box the name of, uh, of where you want to go. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy this explanation of the what Gosu can do. Hopefully in the future uh, I can add more things. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Thank you very much and see you next time.